Disabled People's Mini Histories from Manchester and Beyond Episode 3 Disabled People Against Apartheid A leaflet produced by Disabled People Against Apartheid and Anti-Apartheid for a demonstration held on Sunday the 25th of July 1982 at the Stoke Mandeville Stadium, Aylesbury. The history of disabled people's collective activism still remains largely hidden. A case in point is a group called Disabled People Against Apartheid, who hit the headlines when they picketed the Stoke Mandeville Games. A poster from 1971 which reads, Apartheid is enough to turn any civilised human being into a political prisoner and includes photographs of various prisoned activists including Nelson Mandela, Dorothy Niembe and Bram Fisher. In the early 1980s, the newly emerging disabled people's movement in the UK drew inspiration from other political movements. This included the fight against apartheid in South Africa. This was a political system that kept the white minority in power while subjugating all non-whites, but in particular, the majority black African population. A photograph shows protesters and accompanying children at the entrance of Stoke Mandeville, some holding placards one which reads, Union of the Physically Impaired Against Segregation. Many within our movement at the time felt that disabled people in the UK were also living under a form of apartheid, as we were largely segregated from mainstream society through separate schools, separate housing, separate transport, separate workplaces, etc. From the early 1960s, Until the fall of the apartheid regime in 1994, there were various economic and cultural boycotts in place, including in sport. A photograph of disabled people protesting at the entrance of Stoke Mandeville, many holding placards, one that reads, Apartheid disables, disabled people say no to apartheid. So, when in 1981 South Africa was invited to participate in the Stoke Mandeville Games, the forerunner to the modern Paralympic Games, disabled people mobilised. A grainy black and white image of a group of protesters outside Stoke Mandeville, including on the far right of the image, Manchester disabled athlete and activist Bernard Leach. A joint press conference of anti-apartheid and the Union of the Physically Impaired Against Segregation was held, during which Bernard Leach, a member of Manchester Disabled Athletes, announced that he was withdrawing as a competitor from the Games in protest against the South African invitation. A selection of newspaper clippings on the coverage of the protests. One headline reads, Red Agitators Behind Disabled Games Row. And another reads, Ban Hits Games of Hope. Disabled people's criticism of the apartheid regime and the subsequent protests in 1981 against South Africa's inclusion in the Stoke Mandeville Games were not universally welcomed and drew much scorn from a number of newspapers. The Sunday Express headline from July of that year declared, Red Agitators Behind Disabled Games Row was typical of the right-wing backlash. A photograph shows a contingent of protesters from Manchester protest outside Stoke Mandeville, many holding placards that reads things like South Africa out of Stoke Mandeville, 
Disabled People Against Apartheid and Equal Rights for Black South Africans. Undeterred, Disabled People Against Apartheid and their supporters would go on to picket the Stoke Mandeville Games again in 1982 and 1983 with disabled people from Manchester, an integral part of those protests. A photograph shows protesters confronting white South African delegates at the entrance of Stoke Mandeville. In 1985, the Games organisers finally banned South Africa from taking part until the apartheid regime came to an end in 1994. It should therefore be with immense pride that Manchester recalls the small but important role that local disabled people played in the fight to bring an end to the evil that was apartheid. This film has been made possible due to the funding by Manchester City Council and the ongoing support of Archives Plus at Manchester Central Library. This is part of ongoing work by the Disabled People's Archive at Greater Manchester Coalition of Disabled People to document and preserve the history of the Disabled People's Movement in the UK and the individual trailblazers within it. The logos for the DPA, the Disabled People's Archive, Manchester City Council, GMCDP, Greater Manchester Coalition of Disabled People and Archives Plus.